Hi, welcome to another craft video from the Kansas City, Kansas Public Library. I'm Cheryl and I'm in charge of the craft kits at the Main Library. And today's video is to accompany a craft kit that we'll be giving out at the Main Library starting March 1st, 2023. We're going to be making this adorable little leprechaun laundry line for St. Patrick's Day. And now if you don't have the kit or you're watching this later and just want to use this as a tutorial, you can make this with just simple craft supplies that you can find at your craft store. And this idea I got from the Irwindale Public Library, so thank you to my fellow librarians at Irwindale for the great idea. Okay, now let me show you what's in the kit. Okay, so what you'll have in your kit, or what you'll need to buy if you don't have the kit, is um, have a half of a sheet of green cardstock, a quarter of a sheet of yellow cardstock. Now you can use construction paper for this if you'd like. You can have one piece of uh, white paper with red hearts on it. Now what you can do uh, for this if you don't have the kit is you can just cut out a piece, cut out the shape, the right shape with on white paper and just draw red hearts on it with marker. You'll have a glue stick. You'll have uh, a length of white cord. It's about uh, two, two and a half, two to three feet, foot long. You'll have some little uh, clothes pins. These are just like regular clothes pins. They have little springs and they open and close. And I believe you'll have nine of those. And then you'll have this little uh, template that we're going to be used to cut things out. Uh, the black pieces are going to be used on their own. The white pieces are going to be used to cut the shapes out of the colored paper. Now, I have drawn dotted lines. I don't know if you could see these. But right here, there's some dotted lines on some of the some of the um, pieces. The dotted lines are positioning lines. So this piece here, when you cut it out out of yellow, is going to be positioned right there. So that's a gluing guide. Um, and each one will say how many to cut out. Now, if you do not have the template, if you're watching this at home, how I did this was, uh, let's say for the, the shirt, I just drew a kind of a shirt shape. Like that. And you can cut it out. Uh, and I, I like this as black because we're going to be putting uh, other pieces on top of it. Um, but you can cut it out of black construction paper or you can just use it as white. And then for the jacket pieces, I drew a line like this. You can just fix it nice and neat. And then this part, you would cut this part here and this part here out of green. Then what I did was I drew a line like this, like a little, uh, almost like a rectangle, but then back out again and then down in a curve. So straight out, in, out, curve. And you probably want to try and get them in similar shapes. And then I cut that piece out and I drew around it to form this. And so I just drew all of these pieces out. Now for these black pieces here, when I drew the pants, I initially drew some pants like this. 
and I cut those out and then I also drew another line here and cut that piece out and that was out of the black and I did the same way for the hat band here and then for the sock I just drew a, a little toe and heel like this and cut it out and if you can't draw a shamrock like this you can certainly find a picture on the internet where you can uh, trace around it you know just look for shamrock clip art and that will get you where you need to go and the same thing for here if you can't do this shape the horseshoe just look for horseshoe clip art print one out and trace it so that's how you can get these if you don't have the template all right so let's get started I'm going to set everything to the side for right now, and I'm going to start with the templates. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to cut everything out. The black pieces we're going to use just as they are. So when you cut the black pieces out, set them aside. Um, in a, I usually like a little bowl or something so I don't lose the little pieces. And you will need a pair of scissors, obviously. So the black pieces we're going to be using uh, directly and then we're going to be using the other pieces as templates to cut out the colored paper. And each one of these should have on it how many you need to cut and of which color. So I'm going to go ahead and cut everything out and we'll come back when those are done. So I've got all my black pieces cut out here. Uh, I've got all my white templates cut out. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to take a pencil and I'm going to trace around these um, and then cut the shapes out of the right uh, colors. Okay, so now it's time to start putting everything together. Take the black pieces. We'll start with the base of the shirt or the jacket. And what we're going to do is take these two green pieces and they're going to be glued right there to form the jacket. Now we're going to take these two yellow pieces and those are going to form the uh, lapels of the jacket. And if you're not sure, if you look at the template you see where they're supposed to be glued on. The jacket's done. Now we're going to take the black pieces. Now on the hat we have a small curved black piece. This is going to be the hat band. There we go. On the pants the longer black piece is going to be the belt. All right, these are the two socks, and it looks like I didn't quite cut all the pencil marks off. 
This is why I like using pencils instead of pens to do this kind of thing. Okay. Now, these pieces here will be on the heels, and these pieces will be on the toes. Okay, so that's all the pieces. Now we're going to put them on the clothesline. So you'll take your piece of cord. If you want to hang this up on your wall, you'll need to um, you'll need to tie a loop in one end. You're basically just going to be tying a knot. but don't pull it all the way to the end. Make sure your knot is like that. Or you can tie a slip knot on it, which is also a thing. And to do a slip knot, you just circle it around like, like this. Bring the long end through the loop and Pull it tight, and that forms a little slip knot. Whichever you want to do is is fine. And then these can just be hung on uh, nails or thumbtacks on the wall if you want to do that. So now we're going to find the middle. So I like to put the jacket in the middle, and you've got a bunch of little little um, clothespins and you're just going to on the jacket since it's the biggest one I like to use two clothespins I like to alternate the yellow and the green items just to be an interesting look. But you can put them on this clothesline however you want to do it. And these should stay just fine with just the little clothespins. What I like this, I find these the cutest. They're the little boxers. I like to put those near the, the pants. Okay. There you go with your little adorable leprechaun clothesline. And you can just hang this up on a wall or on a door or wherever you choose to put it. If you have a mantelpiece, you can hang it from there. And then you'll be all ready for St. Patrick's Day. And that's it. Thanks for viewing another video from the Kansas City, Kansas Public Library. See you next time. Bye.